Welcome back. And in this lesson, we're going to continue our investigation into beats and patterns and look at break beats. So in the last lesson, we were looking at consonant club beats where all the parts mirror or fit into each other on a mathematical basis. Let's listen again to our 808 club beat. But now we're going to turn our attention to a different family of rhythms, and that is the broken beat or break beat. So here is the uh, classic of classics. This is the Amen break. And compared to our club beat, we could say a few things. For a start, our club beat is actually only half a bar long. This just repeats. Whereas this is one bar long. We'll come back to that later. Something we definitely can observe is that the kick and the snare don't mirror each other, like in the case of our club beat. This first section is kicks. This section is snares. There's a little kick fill here and a snare. And the hi-hats, unlike our club beat, have their own polyrhythm. In Ableton Live and in other programs, I can convert this audio track into a MIDI track and we can maybe be lucky enough to see what's happening. I'll actually drag this over here so we can compare it to our club beat. As you can see, there's lots more going on. And even looking at this visually, we can see that while this is a very much a mirror of itself and has the same patterns repeating, this isn't. We have a section here, as we said, with just hi-hats and snares. And the kicks, instead of being once per quarter note, are grouped together and then not played at all. I like to think of this as a sense of tension and release. The kicks all occur here, and then there's a break. We miss them, then they come back, and then there's a break. Sometimes in percussion, maybe absence makes the ear grow fonder. And this creates a certain dance within our brains when we perceive this kind of rhythm. I'm going to take my arm and break and layer it up here on our cheesy 808 drum kits. Let's listen to how it sounds there. So we have to sometimes tell the computer what it meant. Cool. So when we look at the clip here in live, the depth of the color represents how loud or how much velocity each MIDI note has. We can also see that nothing is really uniform here. These hi-hats start quiet and they get louder. Now this is part partially because of the compression in this recording. But we can also see that there's much more randomness or controlled randomness in a pattern like this. Okay. Let's move on and let's make some breakbeats from scratch so we can talk through the kind of thought process you might engage in. So one way to think about this, as we were examining, is how much attention do we give to the kicks and the snares? I'm going to make a beat that's very heavy on the kick. And I'm going to use the snare just as an emphasis. I'm going to use a slightly faster hi-hat pattern. And again, we're going to change the velocities. And since we're going simple on the hat on the snares, let's put in some kicks.
As you can hear, I've created a feeling of tension and release between the kick and the snare. We enjoy the simplicity of the snare. It tells us where we are in the pattern and it gives us the meter. Whereas the kick gives us the feel and the color. It gives us uh, lots of activity here, not much here, lots here and nothing here. So we have an on off uh, call and response. Let's, uh, let's change these up. So I'm going to move these so that now we have the simple one strikes on the kick every half note. And we're going to add the busyness to the second and fourth sections using the snare. Let's hear that. Excellent. Now, we might find if we don't put our attention on one of these instruments and actually create something quite complex with both the kick and the snare, that it arguably gets a little too busy. I was more happy with my earlier structure because it had some breathing space and that allowed me to listen into the groove and the silences between things. So broken beats, break beats, beats that don't repeat every quarter note or half note that have a sense of call and response or tension and release between the subsections of the structure. Let's sign off there. As always, I encourage you to practice this. Find a song that you love and listen to the rhythm and try and recreate it. I'll see you next time.